Are you having some breakfast? Does that taste nice? It doesn't smell nice. I could tell you that for free. You can smell it from here. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. I'm picking up my camera a couple of days after my previous vlog finished, and oh, it always feels good to pick up my camera again. Honestly, when I don't vlog for a while, sometimes I need to take a few days off, but other times I'm like, I, I honestly cannot wait to pick up my camera again. But I've gone pretty much for a barely there makeup look at the moment. I did film this for my IGTV as well, so if you want to go and check it out, I'll link it in the description box down below. But I'm just, I don't know why, I've gone back to enjoying just quite sort of fresh eyes and fresh makeup. Just little old me, basically. <laughs> it's also a lot easier in the morning. My goodness, it takes me far less time to get ready. You might have noticed in my vlogs that I've been doing the absolute best to stay as positive as possible and being the ultimate positive possum. And I was kind of willing the good weather to return. Now, so far, it's not been too bad. We've had some rain this week, but we're now on Thursday and it is quite sunny today. It's very blustery. I feel like I'm in the set of a Winnie the Pooh video, but it is sunnier and I feel like my positivity and I kept my fingers crossed and I did a little rain dance and I feel like we are about to have a very, very lovely weekend. It's supposed to be sunny and cloudy and it's gonna be 22 degrees and I know that all of my lovely followers from not England will think that's winter, but here in the UK that is high summer <laughs> and it should be set to be a really lovely weekend. So I'm looking forward to that, I, I really am. I'm gonna be dusting off my prettiest of dresses so I can really, really enjoy some time over the weekend. I know that Carrie and I are also talking about going to some garden centers because I know that a lot of garden centers are open. So what we like planned on doing was doing sort of like a, a garden center grand tour and go to like Burford and maybe Dalesford and maybe some locally. I know Carrie wants to go to Home Sense. So we're planning a sort of bit of a girly weekend with some drinks as well, which should be good fun. So I'm looking forward to that. So I've got myself a little bit refreshed Oh, I feel like my phone is going mad. Who is messaging me? Lumi's gone out. Oh no, my planters aren't coming until mid-July. This is a nightmare. I'm gonna have to look for some other ones, I think. Sad times. Anyway, I'm gonna get some lipstick on because just because we're not doing a lot on the eyes doesn't mean we can't do the lips. Get a little bit of face mist on because I'm all about the dewy face. Dewy, not sweaty. I also wanted to say that I keep getting lots of questions from people about what's happening with Glow. Honestly, just please just follow the Glow Instagram account because we've obviously completely abandoned ship with everything with Glow because of what was happening the week that we were set to launch. It's gonna be quite sort of play it by ear and the warehouse obviously has to get ready and it's when the warehouse can tell me that we can launch basically. So um, it's best to just follow there. There will be a video that announces it, but I've already filmed that. So it won't be in a vlog, if that makes sense. It is a vlog, but it won't be in a vlog. Does, I, I think that makes sense, but it's just a vlog from like shooting the campaign and all of that stuff. So, so yeah, if you want to know the lowdown with Glow, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Now that I am ready for the day, I'm going to finish things off with my uh, Erin Mediterranean Honeysuckle fragrance. Honestly, I don't think you guys realize how much this partnership with Erin means to me. This is like my dream partnership. I love this brand. I love being able to work with them and I'm so passionate about their fragrances and the fact that I get to tell you about them that it is like, Honestly, it's it's the dream for me. And I love that so many of you have discovered this brand through this partnership. So yeah, I couldn't actually believe how many of the samples went in the first hour. Like they were completely gone within an hour. And that was just amazing. But this is like my favorite fragrance. This is like my summer fragrance. I'm like moving now over to my summer fragrance and I've been wearing this for a while. You would have seen it in a few of my vlogs. And um, I said previously that I don't think I have loved a fragrance as much as I love this one since Amber Musk, because it's a totally different take 
on summer fragrance. It's not like sweet and sickly. It's got those sweet undertones, um, but they're very much like subtle and just kind of glide through the fragrance rather than it being at the forefront. And then it's got the citrusy notes that really play into that Mediterranean sort of relaxed casual vibe but still very very sophisticated and I just love it I love it I do swap my lid over I take the blue one off and I put my amber musk lid on because it matches my dressing room better but the blue one is very very beautiful as well so if you wanted to shop the fragrance I know that so many of you will have tried it now with your sampling so if you did want to shop the fragrance I will pop a link in the description box down below as to where you can purchase it if you're looking for something for summer because I literally changed my fragrance with the seasons much like I change everything in my life with the seasons so if you're looking to try this out I will link it in the description box down below but I'm so so happy that so many of you have discovered it through my videos so I'm just feeling very proud of myself. I'm very happy that I get to work with such lovely brands. I also tend to change the lid on it because it is such a beautiful little accessory. I keep the candle and the fragrance um, on my dressing table. I'm just having a little bit of a tidy up because um, my dressing table is a bit of a mess. But this is how my dressing table usually looks. I have the little fragrance. Uh, here and then I've got my candle as well. It just looks really really nice with this um, faux char green tray. Now this isn't Erin but it is a very much inspired Erin purchase that I got from Truly. But with my flowers everything just looks very very lovely on here. So like I said I will link that in the description box down below. This is the dress that I'm wearing today. This is the Jaeger one that I purchased from John Lewis and I hadn't actually worn it yet and then this morning I was like, do you know what, I'm going to wear my shirt dress from Jaeger and I really, really love it. I have popped a little cami dress underneath because it is slightly tight across the bust. It's definitely more fitted than any shirt dress I've ever had but I quite like that. But obviously with my bust, the way that it is, I need to have it slightly open. So the little white cami, and actually it makes it look a little bit more casual, which I quite like. Still haven't found my sandals of dreams yet, not in stock anywhere, so I'm gonna have to keep a hunt for those. I want the Gianvito Rossi Calypso flip-flops, just some beautiful, delicate flip-flops, but I can't, I can't seem to find them. So I'm still hunting, but this is what I'm wearing for the day. I'm kind of pottering around the house today. I've been organizing one of my accessories cupboards and just having it sort of clear out and a reorganize of like my books and stuff. We've got a lot of furniture going to storage next week. So um, I've got a lot of stuff happening as we move over the weekend and I'm just, oh, and also I've had some new seeds delivered. So we're gonna go downstairs and get those potted as well. Oh my, which one's you? This one. Shut up, Ali. Oh my goodness. That's Your little tricycle. Yeah, my little, my little shoes. Is this for the boss campaign? Um, probably won't make them. Oh wow, look, this is Ali and his brothers. Got our hair, it's our fringes. You look so, it's so weird because you look so much like your brothers there. Not in that one though, you're, you're probably a little chunky monkey there. Fair hair, didn't I? Yeah. That's so funny, it's so different. Yeah, so Ali's doing a um, campaign with Boss and he's gone to go and get loads of pictures. Oh no. Look at you, you actually look like the kid from Recess. You literally look like him. That's the thing I wasn't. I know, you look like him. So he needed to go and find like old pictures of him as a kid and um, he's just gone to his mum's and picked those up. So I'm definitely gonna have a look through those later, that is for sure. There have been some very exciting deliveries today. Some bug clear, uh, I got this for my mint, but I think what I'm actually gonna do instead is just grow my own. So we're gonna plant those today in a little rattan planter to go in the window over there. We've got lots of pots to fill. Um, also a little something from Monica Vinida arrived today. I'm working on a campaign with them. So I'm going to be shooting what is inside here, but I'll show you. But most excitingly, look at these flowers. Oh my goodness. We need to get these out and into some water and find out what this is all about because at the moment I just see very, very beautiful roses and very beautiful hydrangeas and peonies that need to go into water. So let's sort these guys out. I need to choose a vase, which is making me exceptionally sad that I didn't order the Astia de Villat vase. I'm very sad now. Oh my gosh, look what my laundry room looks like. All of the white laundry 
is being done at the moment. All systems are go. Right, let's find a vase that we think is suitable. Oh my goodness. So we've got a gorgeous little beach bag here. And I see lemons. Oh my gosh, where do I even start? Okay, we've got some gin glasses with some lemons in. It says Malfi Gin, Italy. So we've got some lemons. We also have, oh wow, <gasps> Sicilian pink grapefruit gin. I have never ever had pink grapefruit gin in my life. Lots of fruit in here. Got another lemon. We've got a grapefruit. We have another grapefruit. Wow, this is like a never ending bag of fruit. <laughs> what is this? Oh, we have another glass around here with another lemon. So this is from Malfi Gin and Arabella London. So I'm guessing that these, oh, I don't want the flowers to fall over. Let's get the flowers in water first and then we can unpack the rest of this because I don't want these to go to waste. Give them a little snip. Oh, they look perfect. Perfect, perfect for that vase. Longer. I'm going to give these a little snip down. Let this be the it's also thing. very nice to have some flowers that I can actually put on display because sometimes I get sent lilies and we're not, we aren't able to put them on display sadly. So these ones are going to go straight into some water. And the final part of the delivery and I actually, I think I picked these myself. These are some bikinis from a brand called Arabella London. If you have not seen this bikini brand, oh my goodness, I know that so many of you are going to absolutely love this brand. This color, look at that bikini. And they are so beautiful. This one is a gorgeous like Bardo style bikini oh my goodness this color i'm going to try these on with you because it is honestly one of those brands that i cannot believe how gorgeous it is so this is kind of a little bit like a, a shell bikini this is the perfect style as well because i love having like the option to have it as a bandeau so that is gorgeous i hope they fit i think they will and they've also said this one as well which is another bardo style but in the white slightly different sizing i think but very cute. I'm gonna try those on with you as well if I can bring myself to <laughs> do that in a bikini. But I will link Arabella in the description box down below because honestly, I've been following them for a while and they are one of the most beautiful swimwear brands I think I've ever seen. So um, I'm very excited for some fun this weekend. Look at these gorgeous flowers and of course they match my artwork on the wall over there. I am still sorting through everything in my kitchen, but what I want to do is I want to take my little Ikea basket and I want to turn this into a planter. I've seen this online somewhere, but I really like the look of it. And I think that on that windowsill with my mint growing out of it, I think it will look really, really cute. So I think I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna um, line it with like a bin bag or something and um, get Ali to get me the soil out of the, the garage and sow my seeds, my little mint seeds, into my little planter. Just lined it like that. Hopefully that will hold up. Very excited, but I think it'll look really cute. Yay! That was very easy. <laughs> Good morning everyone! I am always the most photogenic person after my runs. I mean... I was thinking that as well. I beg your pardon? Ali is making his eggs and for the second time having some, some of our garden cress. And growing cress. Yeah, I'm going to make a really big planter of, of cress today so that he's got some for ages. And, um, oh, that that's cool? yeah, and for my mint, I'm gonna do two of them. I'm making my smoothie post run as usual. 
I'm not gonna obviously do it with you because it's gonna turn into the whole uh, ginger and lemon tonic, which I haven't made for a while. I need to make that again. Going all out. I've got a Zoom call with Nas today for that trip to Thailand that we didn't get to go on, so I know. I'm like, Zoom call to a trip to Thailand. <laughs> it went from a trip to Thailand to a trip to, to in the UK to a Zoom call. Sad times. Although I do love this whole doing Zoom calls for events and things like that. I am loving that, even though this is actually my first one. <laughs> I haven't done any. No one wants me. Today we are getting the house organised. Do I ever not say that in my vlogs? Give the garden a little bit of a spruce up and uh, the house a little bit of a spruce up. And I'm going to stop talking because my husband is waiting to vlog. <laughs> He's vlogging, his turn. We're both vlogging today, so it's gonna be interesting. When your husband knows exactly how you like your kitchen, he's lit some incense, he's hoovered, he's got Ludovica Ionaldi playing on the Sonos, he's also gone and got me my bag of mud so that I can do some potting. I'm also hoping to do some gardening today, although it is supposed to rain. These flowers are doing amazingly. Look at these hydrangeas. They're probably the best hydrangeas I've ever, ever had. Even Ali said to me, are those real or fake? I was like, they are real. He thought that they were fake. He's not very good at telling his flowers though. Parsley is coming along well. This guy is just, this needs some more soil, I think, because it's just, growing and I've got my new seeds to plant. Ali has been making full use of his cress so it's all going very very well. Oh me with a full face of makeup but letting my hair dry naturally. I'm just gonna see how this goes and how this feels because um, I actually can't be bothered today and because I'm pretty much planning on being in the garden it seems silly, however, that may change. I'm gonna go downstairs. I need to upload a sponsored IGTV today. I've gotta to go and put that up. I've also gotta make some tweaks to a video. Once I've done that, I can get cracking with um, garden stuff. Ali is currently mowing the lawn, unfortunately. Sad times, ladies and gentlemen, but he is not topless. It's just not warm enough, is it? And I'm livid about that, but you know, it is what it is. I'm going to pop on my perfume, the Mediterranean Honeysuckle from Erin. Again, I'll link it in the description box. Just a little bit of elevation. This morning, I've been talking to Carrie because we are planning on going to some garden centers over the weekend. So of course, I'm gonna bring you guys with me for that. But let's go and get uh, some work done so we can do the fun stuff. We are almost completely dry and it is a fluff fest. It's like cotton wool. Yeah, this is what I mean. I feel like I like take up too much space with my hair. I just don't think this is the look, is it? I feel like Shakira. Look at this sunshine. Oh, glorious. Right, time to make a start on this. As I was saying, hair is, um, <laughs> I just don't think I'm one of those people that suits their natural hair. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just not one of those people, damn it. Stop trying to make something work that isn't gonna work, Lydia. Ooh, the uh, grass has been mowed, which is good. On a scale of one to cold, how cold is it out here? Hmm, not too bad, it's quite warm. Let's check on these guys. How are they doing? They're doing all right, they're doing all right. I think we just need to find them a new home, I think. What are you doing? Ah? Uh? Okay. Going to get my shoes on because my husband has somehow managed to get the uh, lawn mower into the woodland and I have no idea what he's doing. I really want to tie up my hair. It's annoying me. I'm going to have to go straighten it. It's just not happening. I can't do a Zoom call later looking like Hagrid. <laughs> I mean, I could, but I don't think Nas would appreciate it. Oh, it's a little bit chilly. So Ali has cleared our little woodland fire area. We obviously need to make something more permanent. This is just for Ali and his creativity. The, uh, <laughs> the lawn mower is in here. I've never actually seen it in the woodland. Um, there's little Winky's tree in there. There was also some confusion that I saw about um, where our boundary is. And um, I just wanted to say that th this is our, our woodland here. Um, it goes sort of behind those trees. In fact, you can see a little post there that marks 
all of the boundary along there there's lots of them but we got more concealed ones so that it's more sympathetic and now we get the animals come through but it looks really really nice and um, a lot more natural but yeah this is all ours this is all ours that, that's little little winky's tree there in ours Ali's obviously getting rid of this tree as well that fell down in the oh my gosh it's cold Lummy Lummy where you been you've been where you shouldn't be you're a naughty sausage naughty sausage Hello, hello my darling, good girl. These beds are thriving. And just like that, we are a little bit more tame there. Yeah, feel a lot better. Let's get going with the day because we can't spend any more time looking at our hair in the viewfinder or touching it because the hair touching police will have a go at me. Now I can start doing what I need to do, which is good, good. Aha. Uh -huh. It looks like my husband has started the work for me. So this is gonna be for my mint. Get some water. Next jump, we're doing the more battle. basil, some rosemary, some more watercress and some mint. Now it's just about waiting and that's the part that I'm not very good at because I'm the most impatient person in the world but it's very very exciting when it happens and everything starts to to bloom. It's very exciting. Very very exciting. So I'm currently working on this flower bed. I've just basically taken off as much of the dead of this rhododendron. It's one of the um, ones that didn't really survive when it didn't get a lot of water. But to be honest, I don't think they ever really do very well in here. So I'm kind of, I'm thinking maybe I should just, whether we should just take them out. Um, Cause I, I'm not sure if the soil is the right soil. Maybe I'll give them another year and see how it goes. I need to get into the flower bed and turn it over, which I'm obviously not over the moon about. I don't know how I'd do this one because it's just, it's got all of this grass. I think all that grass needs to come out, to be honest, because that's not supposed to be in there. That's just, yeah, that's not supposed to be in there. Lulu, you helping with the gardening? You're such a good little girl. You helping? You helping? Please be careful. It's a big drop there. Oh, I tell you what, I cannot wait for these to be gone. We're getting this taken out and we're putting glass over the top, like reinforced safety glass, so that we it don't it won't block our view anymore from our our bedroom. Looking forward to that. It's getting a little zhuzh down there as well. Very exciting stuff. I have had quite the session out here. I'm on the beds at the front of the house. I've rescued my lavender. It was being overran by um, another plant that had been planted in the middle. So I'm going to get some more lavender and get it to stand up because it looks a little bit sad down here. This one's looking a little bit better because the plant wasn't quite so established inside. I've also been trimming some bits back from spring. I've done this bed but I've still got a whole other one. I've also decided that I'm going to be taking these out. We're going to plant them elsewhere. Um, and instead I'm going to put in some more lavender in these beds because I much prefer the way the lavender looks. Um, we're going to take out these ones as well, put them elsewhere. I haven't even started on this bed yet but I think I need to eat something because whew, I am hungry. This is definitely my favourite flower bed up until we get to this little bush here. Um, I think that's going to be coming out and I'm going to put some more lavender in there potentially or I'll just take it out and put some flowers in there. Um, I've done a little bit of a rake over but I think I need to spend more time but I've got to go and do this this zoom call now. I can't believe how much my clematis have grown like they are properly reaching so I think Ali is going to string these up today. Set myself up here with my new little planters uh, waiting for my NARS zoom call. We have also just taken delivery of our floor from Sarpietra or Carpietra? I think it's Carpietra. Um, we are working with them on the floor for our basement courtyard. And I feel like lots of people have heard of them, but may not know them as like 
for their natural stone flooring and that was what we wanted to go for in the basement and eventually it's what we will go for in the kitchen as well but it's all arrived so work can start as planned on Monday which is so exciting. My next door neighbour Julie just messaged me to say that uh, she's got this picture that she thinks I should do in the basement and I'm going to get some trellis put up and I'm going to get a rose put down there so it grows all pretty up the wall. <laughs> anyway I'm sure that they're going to join very very soon. I've got my cocktail that was sent to me. They sent us these gorgeous Tom Dixon glasses and um, I'm going to enjoy that whilst I learn about the new Laguna bronzers. So Hopefully, I'm going to be a professional on the Laguna Bronzes by the time I'm finished. Anyway, I'll speak to you in a bit. I have finished on the Zoom call and now I am unpacking some deliveries. I've just unpacked a delivery from Hocker. Basically, you would have seen that Ali and I purchased a pair of Hockers each and we actually didn't know that when you're buying running shoes, you should go a size up and we ended up getting the wrong size. Hocker actually agreed to send us some more trainers and I devoted one pair to Ali and I just got my right size. I'm gonna give Carrie the ones that I purchased that were too small, hopefully they'll fit her. So hopefully now, now I can get back to wearing these because they're just a bit too tight and they really really hurt my toe so I'm gonna test drive those in the morning I've also opened up a parcel from Vorberg which um, obviously is my Thermomix they make the Thermomix this is the absolute dream I finally have two mixing bowls this honestly I use this so much and obviously you have to wash it in between uses so now I can alternate and I can do like batch cooking without having to wash up every time in between, even though I can like have one on and then wash, wash up and kind of rotate like that. So this is such, such a handy gift. And they've also sent me the blade cover because I cook some slow cooking recipes in there. Um, they were like, do you have the blade protector? And I was like, I need a blade protector. Have I broken it? Oh my God, no. But they assured me it should be fine. However, they sent it out to me anyway. But I'm just getting the kitchen back to tidiness because Ali spent such a long time tidying it this morning and then the moment I do anything sort of gardening related I make such a mess. Ali has just got back from the plow lots of bread lots of goodness oh this is honestly the dream having this place now in our village we've got fresh pasta fresh veg fresh fruit milk sausages we got all of the good stuff I'm very very happy with this oh skinny Ooh. So I got your dairy free me and original. Oh, thanks, babe. I am exhausted and I only did like three three beds. I'm absolutely exhausted and uh, yeah, my back hurts, everything hurts. My everything hurts. We just had dinner, Ali's doing the dishwasher. Um, and I am trying a microwave hack because someone used our microwave and used and just made an absolute mess out of it. So I'm trying this lemon in water hack for three minutes. And I'm interested to see, I'm not sure if you can see, but it is starting to bubble. What part? Apparently once it's done, you leave it for five minutes. So I'm gonna set the timer on the cooker. The steam apparently loosens all of the stuff so you just wipe it down. Testing this second time round, I think I might have done it right. Perhaps you need a slightly higher powered microwave in order for it to work in three minutes. I put it on for, is it right on here? Not so much on here, but we can give this a wipe down with my pot brush. That looks a lot better. Good morning everyone. I am currently getting myself all dressed with my sprouts. Um, for the day I've got my coffee as usual in my favourite little mug. Um, I've got a new dress on and I know you're probably thinking you've always got a new dress on Lydia because that's all you've done through lockdown and um, yes you'd be absolutely right. However I am actually again leaving my house today. 
we are going to the garden centres because garden centres are open. So Carrie and I are going to drive over to Burford and have a little moot. I'm just going to tell you that I'm trying out a new powder. <laughs> Yeah, we're heading over to Burford, which is about, I think it's about 40 minutes from, from where we live. We're going to go and have a look around and do some garden centre shopping. Do a little bit of shopping, do a little bit of girl time, and then we're going to come back and drink gin, and it should be really nice. It should be a nice Saturday. Yeah, so I'm just putting some makeup on. I've got a new dress on, and it's very, very affordable. So I'll put it in the links down below if you haven't already seen it on my um, Instagram because that is where I usually put them first. Burford's really good because it's kind of got everything, even though um, the cafe thing isn't open. They do like homeware and they do garden stuff and they do art and yeah, it's really nice. So I'm gonna drive over there and it should be a very lovely day. I'm looking forward to it. I was absolutely pooped last night. I fell straight asleep. I was like sat on the sofa and I was just like, Ali, I need to go to bed. I need to go to bed. So I think I was in bed for about, well, it's not that early, for about 11ish. But I slept pretty much the whole night, which was blooming lovely, except for Lumi waking me up at five. Seems to be her time to wake me up. So I gave her some food and I went back to bed. I feel like I'm having a good nose day. It looks like it's a good nose day. And I actually didn't drink anything last night. Usually on Fridays, I always have like a glass of wine at the moment, but I didn't because I knew I was getting up early to go out to the garden centers. And um, I knew that I wanted to like look my best and not look tired. Although she says looking like an actual mole because obviously I haven't done this. So we're basically, it looks like we're going like on a first date or something because we're both gonna be so dressed up because we're like, what do we wear? What do we take? What do we do? <laughs> There's contour done. Let's get this stuff off my lips. Mm -hmm. Little bit of lipstick and then mascara to finish. And then, of course, a spritz of my Mediterranean honeysuckle. And when I say spritz, I'm literally going to douse myself in this because I love it. In fact, I'll probably take it with me today. A little bit of coffee in my favourite muggy. And I'm going to sort my hair out using my GHD oh, Platinum Plus Styler. And then I should be almost ready to go. Good time. Picked up my old hockers and said, oh, there's a cobweb going across. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I make him check my shoes. <laughs> I'm just taking them to give them to Carrie. Sorry, my batch, not my battery, my uh, memory card ran out earlier. I'd obviously spoken so much on this vlog that um, I didn't realize that I'd filled a memory card. <laughs> I'll just show you my outfit quickly and then I'm going to jump in the car. I actually haven't driven in so long. I don't know if I can remember how to drive. <laughs> I don't think I've driven in months. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I'm wearing this dress um, from Boohoo. It's kind of like a linen cottony feel dress and then it's got this like chambray stripe with also a little bit of burgundy in it so it's really nice. And then I've got my golden goose sneakers on. I've got my Fendi peekaboo that I bought from Lorna Lux. First outing with this bag, I think. That might be a lie though, I can't remember. I say these things and I don't realize that people actually go back and check and then they're like, she's a liar. I'm like, I'm not a liar. I've just got a really bad memory. <laughs> anyway, I'm set to go. So looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. I'm actually nervous. <laughs> what if there's a spider? What a gorgeous day. Ah, I can't believe I'm driving. I don't even know how this happens. <laughs> how do you do it? What? Good job I've got an automatic, that's all I can say. This is also my first time driving on our new road. We got about half a kilometer of new road where we live and it is glorious. Like it was even bad going over the bumps in my car, let alone like Ali's and everyone else's. We actually felt really bad. Like when people would come down here, would be like, sorry. <sighs> it's fine. I, I think I'm finding the driving situation absolutely fine. So <gasps> I don't know what music to play. This is fabulous. <laughs> right, I shall see you in a bit.
Oh, big ones like that. This is my loot. Where's your loot? Is that there? Yeah. My nan carries loot in there. I'm gonna pop it all into the boot. I'm going to put my bag down because Carrie is the muscle. She takes the heavy stuff. <laughs> we have been home for a while. Apologies if I haven't spoken to you. I feel like this weekend has just been the loveliest weekend that I've had in a long time and I've got like my favorite people around me and it's just so lovely and we've had a like a fruit and veg delivery from the farmer's hamper and this is everything like I think that this is the kind of thing that you can get wherever you are in the world and not not in the world but in England I'm pretty sure I'll put their uh, delivery details in the description box down below where you can kind of get this but there's a lot of companies offering this nowadays like locally but they have heritage tomatoes and i'm not the biggest tomato person but their fruit and veg is mwah, chef's kiss and so i wanted to show you what was just delivered because they've delivered us in the most beautiful hamper we have like radishes and fruit and veg and everything you've got carrots we've got everything look at this and even flowers now i've become quite a um peony bloomer connoisseur so now we've got these ones it's honestly incredible we've got strawberries raspberries blueberries oatly we've got butternut squash bananas carrots heritage tomatoes look at these look at these little little baby aubergines so i'll link them down below if you want to get any fruit and veg because a lot of companies are adapting nowadays to ensure that you can get your fruit and veg and get the most fresh fruit and veg as well and this is <gasps> everything i dream of little baby bumblebee little baby bumblebee this is how big he is in comparison to my finger putting the bumblebee on the lavender but the little bumblebee is going on the lavender come on you like the lavender come on come on good boy Good boy! Look at him on his lavender. He's living his best life. He's come to life. Oh my goodness. Happy little bumblebee. Despite it being the most magical day, that is rain. <laughs> <gasps> we are adamant that we're going to stay out here until the clouds pass over because we can definitely see blue skies on the other side of the woodland. What a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Good morning everyone. Wow. <laughs> we had the most lovely day yesterday and I woke up this morning feeling actually surprisingly good and um, we've been for a run already. I've had a shower. My mum is coming up today for the first time in a very very long time she's um coming up to have some lunch with us so we're going to get to see her which is really lovely ali and i have plans to do some gardening today we've got the lavender to put in and to move the bushes out i need to deadhead my roses because they have their second bloom coming and there's some little dead bits on there that i need to cut off um i thought i would show you the bits that i picked up yesterday at burford i think my mum is going to make pasta for us oh look at these blooms that arrived yesterday from the farmer's hamper company oh my goodness these peonies are blooming already and they just look very very lovely uh, we've still got the hamper on the table but we have put all of the veg away but I wanted to show you some of the things that I got yesterday we've already unpacked it from Burford but I'm 110% going to go back because it was just so good I forgot how good it was wait you need to be a little bit taller don't you I'm getting tall I'm growing like my sprutlings um, there are new sprutlings today, by the way. I can't remember what it is, though. I can't remember what I potted. This is a book that I picked up, the Forager Handbook. Basically, I wanted to get to know what I can take from the like the land here that's already like here like flowers and berries and things like that and what i can do with it i really want to learn to do more with what's here because the wildlife is just amazing and um so that's definitely something i want to to learn more of. like we always have loads of bramble bushes and berries and things like that so i'd like to start making things using those um so this is a the Guide to the Edible Plants of Britain. And actually I was looking for like bloggers that covered this stuff. So if you know anyone 
that covers this kind of thing let me know like really beautiful blog like blog posts and things like that and just yeah i wanted to learn how to do a little bit more and it tells you what you can do with it so i'm gonna have a little bit of a study of this book but i picked that up in burford i also picked up two of these but i think i'm gonna need to get more um these are wild flower like seed boxes because i want to get more different sort of colors in the in the woodland that we have to the side and um yeah so i just thought we'd give a little sew of these and get them out there it's basically up to ten thousand flowers and up to twelve thousand flowers i'm sure you can probably get these on amazon and i'm probably gonna have to buy more but i thought i would test them out then i got these which they're from a brand called Niwaki. And they were £32. These are their Sentai, Sentai Garden Scissors. So I'm going to put these to good use today. Doing my roses, I think. Very handy, but also very beautiful. You know how I feel about very beautiful things. I also picked up a linen apron. However, I was very, very hasty with picking this up. It's actually not got a tie waist, and I do prefer a tie waist. However, it does just go over your head like this so it's a bit more of a pinny than a proper like apron so i think i might try and like attach some linen so i can still cinch it in because i always feel a bit sort of um i don't know frumpy if it's not cinched in you know what i'm like i'm a bit of a weirdo like that but i loved the color of it i loved this sand color and it's slightly more like lightweight than my gray one my gray is like a almost like a um like a hardware one and I wanted something lighter. I think this is Burford own brand and this is their natural linen one. So um, I picked that up as well. I also got some little name stakes for my sprutlings so I can name them properly rather than having the labels on the front. Um, and also when I get something, because I think I'm going to sort of go up in stages, but I want to get um, some little sort of kitchen window planters either side of the um, atrium where I will move my little sprutlings into, see how I get on with those. And then I've got some big plans. This is actually an idea from one of the guys that is going to be starting work on our house. This was one of his ideas I kind of want to expand on because I quite like the idea of this. Obviously it may change when I don't maybe have so much time. This flower bed here is a raised flower bed. As you can see, I need to deadhead my roses. Um, but it's a, it's a raised flower bed. And what I've always wanted to do was to get rid of um, this fence because I think it's ugly and it ruins the view through our rose arch. So what I want to do is take down that fence. Obviously we have to be mindful of this manhole cover in the ground, but I would like to continue the pathway a little bit and get maybe some more raised beds here. And this is where I can start maybe having some veg and stuff like that, because I think that this will make nice use of this area because it's a bit kind of forgotten. And I think maybe getting some symmetry out of this area will be lovely. But that's just an idea. But for now, I'm gonna look to get some sort of planters to go down here and um, on the other side as well so I can get planting my little spruits and get some foliage I think. <laughs> this is another book that I picked up and um, there was these stone sculptures but this book was nestled in between and I just thought this would be right up my street because I do love natural stone and this is a all a big old book about it so I thought I would pick that up it also looks very aesthetically pleasing which you know I like about coffee table books I also picked up these this is to help with me seeding my sprutlings uh, so this helps make a little hole in the soil and then um, this helps pat the soil back down and, and make it nice and tight for the seeds to grow through and um, sprout <laughs> I'm having this Jimmy's iced coffee it's dairy free made with oats Ali picked this up at the local shop and I'm gonna give it a whirl because it looks yummy first job of the day is deadheading this huge rose bush it takes a lot of time but it's getting there and we've also managed to get this hydrangea to come back to life look at these big green leafy leaves still some of their old sad leaves left but it seems like it's coming back so I can salvage a plant, but at the moment this needs a little bit of TLC.
Lunch, probably need more served. Amazon because I just put a sprinkle. Probably need loads. Lovely bit of wrist action there. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely salt and pepper pot, I must say. Yeah. I hope I'm doing this right. Yeah, you are. Am I? You just have to cut it back to the knuckle. Yeah, sort of thing. We are currently clearing out the uh, leaves that fall from our red robin underneath. Ali's doing an Instagram story. Um, we basically raked out all of the the leaves onto the side and now it's my job to pick them up and put them put them into here which is fabulous not my favorite job i've got to be honest separating the leaves from the dirt and then all of the spideys in between no not so much one plant is out and in its bucket well you do that bit and i'll handle getting the new stuff in yeah <gasps> get to put more lavender in oh this is so exciting oh good evening i feel like i haven't really spoken to you that much today and i probably should have the sun is just kind of going down um and we are watering all of the beds all of the lavender is in oh i'm running out of battery both lavenders are now either side of the porch obviously it needs to establish itself and grow in also i don't know if i showed you but my husband has done the little climby bit for the clematis so that can now do its thing because it was so funny it was obviously wanting to grapple onto something so badly that it was just grappling onto the plants around it <laughs> it was like me <laughs> but when we get the new porch fingers crossed um we can then put it up the porch as well got the same on this side this little lavendino with another clematis to go up and then we've also had a good old zhuzh of these flower beds down here these were covered in leaves giving it a good rake over i've cleaned stone and um, we've also cleared this bed ready to put some more plants maybe down here it is a bit of a mess down here at the moment at this area because um we've got the floor which has arrived from carpietra this is what's going to be going on the floor down in the basement so these huge like limestone tiles are going to be going down there this bed is just thriving like look at these these big leaves and everything's blooming like these are all going purple we've popped another lavender in there because we've got a lot of lavender in that bush particularly in that uh, bed as well just having a good old zhuzh of the garden the kitchen is cleaned and hoovered i think i'm going to plant some of the seeds that i picked up from burford as well i don't think i showed you the seeds yet but i picked up some lemon balm that i want to plant and then i also got some wild bergamot and you can have it in herbal teas i'm loving having like the ability to just make my own teas instead and just pop in the leaves i also got some cat mint <laughs> it says enjoyed by cats everywhere i'm just gonna plant that anywhere i don't even care if lumi loves it i love it i stocked up on some crests as well for ali even though i've planted a huge pot of them and then obviously i got two lemon balms because i think that's something that i'm really gonna like to grow little sprout magoots are coming up since yesterday i literally planted these like two days ago or something and so they are coming along nicely. I've got my new little sticks in that I've named, and then I've got these two pots here ready for me to sow some seeds in, so we'll get them in. I think it's safe to say that this was probably my favorite purchase from Burford because these have come in so handy when doing the roses. I can't get on top of the like trellis but this has just been such an easy, quick snip and they look beautiful. Ali is deadheading the roses on top to the sound of next door's guinea fowl. Cheering me on. <laughs> it's the worst sound. Oh my gosh. There's so many up here to deadhead. Really? Yeah. This one was uh, ready to do its thing, sadly. And he chalked it off. It is now 10 o'clock at night and we may have worked a little bit too much into the evening. So we're having sausage butties, I guess. And I've also made us some marinated veg. These are the multicolored carrots that came in our farmer's hamper and um, also the peppers that came as well. 
I just put some butter and garlic and bits like that on it and then roasted them in the oven. Ali's treating himself to a non-alcoholic beer because he's worked hard today. Thumper is there. Adamant she's going to go out because she's slept all day. I think they must be ready, babe. I am snuggled down in bed. I've washed my face and I've put on my Carly Mint oil all over my scalp. Oh, that stuff is amazing. Literally, it just soothes my scalp all the time. Probably look like a little bit of a sloppy, but I'm ready to head to sleep and start a new week tomorrow and a new vlog and I hope that you've enjoyed this one with me. I don't even know what we've done. It feels like it's been busy and productive and all of the good stuff and obviously please don't forget that I have linked the Erin Mediterranean Honeysuckle in the description box down below if you did want to pick it up after you tested it when I did the testing over on my Instagram, but um, it's linked down there anyway. And it's been my perfect summer fragrance for a perfect summer few days. So I will see you guys in my next video. I don't know what's happening, but I do know that I've got to go to the dentist on Tuesday. Wow. I know, I've got to drive all the way to London. This one's with me. You work hard today? Very tired. Very tired. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.